Amanda Renee and we are back with another video. In today's video I will be showing you how I refresh my curls and don't worry this hair which is probably a day 4 or day 5 wash and go will be refreshed now so I won't look so crazy. So if you want to see how I refresh my curls stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so as I told you guys, um, this is a day four, day five wash and go that I kept in a pineapple style kind of thing to keep my curls and if you want to see how I achieve this wash and go definitely click the link in the icards up above or in the description box down below and if you also want to see how I keep my curls at night definitely click the link in the icards up above as well and click the link in the description box down below so that you can check it out so I am going to section my hair into four And then now I'm gonna take this section that seems to want to come onto the clip and it's not too tangled because I was able to detangle my hair and the leave-in conditioner and the gel that I used wasn't so stiff on my hair so um, it's not too tangled so what I will do is take my spray bottle and just spray the area the product is in my hair because it got activated from the water and I don't want too much product build up in my hair so what I'm gonna do is try to comb it out as much as possible and then go in with a second go but just a little bit because there's already product in my hair so I'm just spraying the area And it's already starting to detangle so I don't necessarily see why I would need to go in with a comb on second thought. So I'm just going to try to finger detangle as much as possible and then I'm going to go in, go in with my leave-in conditioner. So I'm taking my leave-in conditioner now. My leave-in that you can't really see properly. Yeah, I'm taking my leave-in conditioner now. And I will just like... I will just apply a little bit. Well, it's not a little bit, but you know. It's not a lot either. So I just want to go with that throughout my hair. Wow. 
and I'm going in with some more water because go in with as much water as possible because you want the product to be evenly distributed so that's what I was doing so as you can see the curls are starting to get redefined and that's what I kind of want that's what I want so I'm just going to be going in with water to evenly distribute the product and I will go in with a little bit of gel or do I not need any gel hmm by the looks of it i don't necessarily need gel but it could be wrong i'll just put a bit of gel just to be safe because i want this wash and go to last me like another week so the curls are clumping again and don't mind the white things they're going to dry clear I should say because they could dry and still cause a lot of flaking so um just raking through my hair and the shedding since I haven't done my hair since I haven't touched my hair in like a week I just pineappled my hair and took it down and fluffed it out haven't really you know combed it because i want the curls to stay so <laughs> i expect a decent amount of shedding because you haven't really combed out your hair so again i'm going in with my spray bottle as you can see here distributing the product and the curls are starting to clump again so that's what we want so I'm thinking that I don't need any gel because the leave-in conditioner is giving it a hold already it's like giving it a hold already however I want it to hold as much as possible so like I said before I'll just go in with a little bit of gel like a decent amount well, not really decent because I don't want my hair to be overloaded by the product. But... Yeah. This is what we're looking like. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the hair. So... Keep on watching until the end result. I may... I may spice up this hairstyle a bit, so stay tuned for that.
Okay guys, so we are back and excuse the forehead but <laughs> um, as you could probably tell this part is starting to dry already and like I told y'all it will dry clear as you can see here. So over here it has all the products and over here it will dry clear so that should give some of you guys a little more reassurance that it will be fine and I did say that I was going to kind of spruce it up a bit so what I'm gonna do is first create a side part so I have my white tooth comb right here because you know the part isn't necessarily so precise but I want to create a side part so I will go ahead and make that over this part that is wet because like, I don't want to necessarily trouble over here so I will go in over here and just create a kind of side part ish let's see how that goes I may have to put some more product so I'm just creating that side part Yep, like I said, I would have had to go in with a bit more product, so I'm just going in with a little more gel real quick. And my curls are pretty much still defined, pretty much still there. So, going in with the side part, as you can tell here. There is a side part. Let me just do this part right here. There we go. And what I will do is All right. So now that the side part is here, what I'm gonna do is kind of do either a flat twist or an actual cornrow I'm thinking I'm going to go with a flat twist seeing that it's kind of easier so that's what I'm gonna do there's no tutorial so I am not necessarily going to explain too much but if you want a tutorial let me know down below and i will try to deliver so i'm going in with the flat twist uh, going in with a flat twist right here what I will do is take an elastic band and just secure it in place so that it doesn't move and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for the other side as well so I will be back once that's done All right guys, so this is the finished product. Like I said, if you want a flat twist out tutorial, definitely let me know down below and I will deliver. So 
this is the style the wash and go with a little sprucing up and yes guys this is the end of this video if you like this video definitely hit the like button and if you want to see more content from me definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video and share this video with a friend a family member or anyone who's interested in natural hair and i will see you in my next video bye guys